This is another video in a series of videos where we're looking at how these three distributions together with R can, can help us calculate things about confidence intervals and hypothesis testing. In this particular problem we're going to look at now, we don't need to use R very much, but uh, let's read the problem and see how, it, how information fits into these three uh, distributions. So uh, Jen uh, thinks that a certain potato chip maker is putting fewer chips in their regular bags. Now, they didn't ever tell us what the uh, what the regular bags used to uh, to be, but uh, let's see if I can't get this started here. So the idea is that there's going to be some null hypothesis that's saying that the mean is the same as what it used to be. Uh, in this problem they're not telling us what that is. But Jen is agreeing with the alternative hypothesis where she's saying that now the mean is less than what it used to be. So this is a one-tail test. Okay, we picked that up from that much of the story. So let's uh, read a little bit more here. Um, from a random sample of 16, okay, so we're looking at samples of size 16. We look at only one of those samples of size 16, but we're thinking about that entire distribution of all the samples of size 16. And when we do that, we discover that uh, we get some mean. We don't, they don't tell us what that mean is, but they tell us that Jen continues her study and comes down here and finds a T value and discovers this T value and associated with that T value there's a P which is that area below here is a point zero eight two so she finds that P value okay Let me change colors for the next part of the discussion so the question is at a 5% confidence level, is there evidence that Jen is correct? Okay, now 5% would put us over here, wouldn't it? Because down here would need to have that tail down there being 5%, 0 0.05. And at a 5% level of significance, this isn't isn't down in that danger region. So the answer is no. Uh, there's not enough evidence to to uh, support Jen's argument at that particular case. But at a 10% level, look at what the, the picture looks like at a 10% level. At a 10% level, that'll be up here so that this area down here is a point one zero. Then the score that Jen was getting is down in that danger region. The p-value is low compared to that 10%. So the null hypothesis must go, and Jen was arguing for the alternative hypothesis, so the answer there is going to be yes. Okay. There's the check. Okay.